after spring ball practice number five with defensive back coach Keith Hayward. And coach, your first chance to come out here these last two weeks and see the players on the field for the first time. Give us your early impressions. I think we have a very, very athletic and very competitive group. We threw a lot of defense at them. Our offense is throwing a lot of formations and a lot of different plays at them, and I think they're handling it well. And talk about that this spring. There is going to be so much of an emphasis on installation of everything and getting them used to the install the up tempo speed in practice. How's that going? It's going good. You know, uh, first week, you know, everybody's running around like a chicken with their head cut off. Um, so getting used to the tempo is is one thing. And when you got the tempo and you have to execute your assignment and then get aligned, that's a whole nother big thing. But you know, our guys are, are are doing good. Coming back after spring break, also this last Tuesday it was a little bit of like, come on, we got to get it going again but today was a lot better. So as we go through these next practices and hit practice 5 through 15, I expect it to be continue to go, go better. Okay, and let's talk about the corner spot in particular right now. Uh, Josh Shaw out for spring, and so we're getting a long look at Kevon Seymour and Chris Hawkins. Talk about the, how those two young men are doing. Right, I think Chris and uh, Kevon are doing good. The thing that I'm trying to make sure that they understand is that at cornerback that you have to be very, very disciplined. You have to execute your technique every time, and um, they're doing a good job, but, you know, we got to develop some consistency there. And then when Josh comes back, you know, he's going to have to make sure he gets into the groove and start getting all his timing and stuff back, and you have to do the same thing. So, you know, I think I think what they're doing right now is okay between Chris and Kevon, but, you know, we got to get better. No doubt about that. Um, now, when Josh comes back, he has said he's going to be back at corner. Is that going to be without a doubt, or is there thought maybe take a look at safety if the cause comes up, or is he a corner? I mean, right now our thoughts is to put him back at corner, you know. But uh, if, if for any reason, you know, uh, that we feel and, you know, if we have to talk to him and maybe put him at safety at times or maybe it's nickel, I'm sure that Josh will do what's best for the team. He just wants to be on the field, you know. And, and I said, coaches, we got to make sure that we play the best 11 guys and make sure we have our best players on the field. We just want to find the right fit so the Trojans can win. I'm sure Trojan fans are going to like that thought. Uh, let's go back to the safety spot right now. Sua Cravens, a guy last year, was fantastic as a freshman. Now, there was some talk coming into spring. Would, would you guys look at him and kind of use him in the way you used Shaq Thompson with Washington last year? Do you see similarities between those two players? Yeah, they are. They're very athletic. Um, they're, they're physical safeties. Shaq was a little bit bigger and I think, you know, a little bit more stiff and more fit to play linebacker at that time. So that's why he's made that transition. Uh, Sua, I feel like he's still – comfortable and can still make the moves that are necessary for a defensive back so you know we plan on keeping him right there at safety but when he's he's the guy that we drop down when we play nickel right now um, so he, he's doing a good job you know and and, and at that and, it, and it's kind of a lot to do because in our safeties they they have to communicate make sure guys are getting lined up communicate to the linebackers and the corners so um, you know, it's a lot to handle. And then when you drop him down at nickel, it's a whole nother package too, but he'll be fine. So I, I, in the same regards, and when we talking about Josh, if, you know, if it came to it and we got to use Sue in the same way we used Shaq Thompson up at Washington, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll decide, or Coach Wilcox will decide that as a defensive coordinator, and we'll do what's best for the team. And then it seems like Leon McQuay and Gerald Bowman, there being a lot of versatility back there with those two guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's what we're just trying to make sure that we play everybody at every position right now. So I'm playing them left and right so they have to learn everything, and then we can see what guys can and cannot do. And, and that way, they, you know, we can piece the puzzle together as we go after this spring. But the way I see it is I think all of our guys in the back end as far as safeties, they can play, all of them can play nickel, all of them can play left and right safety or freeze or strong safety. So that's great for us because now we have versatility. We don't have to just line up a guy in one spot. Thanks for your time, Coach. For Keith Hayward, this is Gary Pasquitz, ESPN.